Good morning, boys and girls. It is time for truth. And we have been doing the gospel challenge. And I'm so excited. Today we're going to do a brand new color. And it is our very last color. And I love this color. And I want to know, do you have the, your Bible ready? Go and get your Bible right now. If you don't have it with you, I want you to sit way straight up on the sofa or on the floor. And I want you to get your Bible because we're going to get ready to hear God today. Because how does God speak to us? Through his word. And how do we speak to God? Through prayer. I hope you are listening to God today. I hope you've already spoke to God this morning. So I want to go over and we're going to go over all the colors and see who's been doing the gospel challenge. I'm so excited to tell you that we've had some people do the gospel challenge and they've done such a wonderful job so far. They are learning to how to give the gospel. Isn't that exciting? Learning how to tell somebody how they can have eternal life, boys and girls. You can do that. And so with this gospel challenge, that's what the purpose is. Tell your family and your friends about Jesus, that they can go to heaven with you one day. Isn't that exciting? Man, you're so special to God. He wants to use you, boys and girls. But first, let's go over our color. Have you got your Bibles ready? Okay, because the very first verse, do you know what the very first verse is in the very first color? It is... Yellow, that's right. And what's the verse that goes with it? John 3, 16. So I want you to turn in your Bibles to John 3, 16. And I'm going to grab this yellow. And what does the yellow stand for? That's right. God loves you. And he loves me. And you know what, boys and girls? I have a favorite little song that I learned when I was in Africa one time. And many years ago, when I was in Kenya, Africa, there were some boys and girls there. And a preacher taught them this song, and I love this song. And I sing it all the time. Are you ready? You want to learn it? It's super easy. And you can go around singing that, and you can remember what the yellow stands for. Are you ready? Now, I'm going to put that up there because... I have to use my hands to clap in this song. Are you ready? Here we go. God loves you and I love you and that's the way it should be. God loves you and I love you and that's the way it should be. He saved me and he'll keep me and that's the way it should be. He saved me and he'll keep me and that's the way it should be. One more. Are you ready for the third verse? Here we go. He's coming and I'm going and that's the way it should be. He's coming and I'm going and that's the way it should be. God loves you and I love you and that's the way it should be. God loves you and I love you and that's the way it should be. That's one of my favorite songs. I love to do that. And I learned that probably four years ago, at least. And anyway, I want you to sing that and practice that. That was fun. But let's see who knows this yellow, that God loves them. Can you say John 3, 16? And we know where it is in the Bible. Did you find it in your Bible? Okay, John 3, 16. We're going to read it once. And remember, put your finger right on verse 16. Get your brother, your sister, if you don't know where it is, to help them find it. It's important to always, always, always use the word of God. And so, here we go. Are you ready? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And remember what we said that verse means? It means God loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son that's who? Jesus. That's right. He came down to this earth to be born, to die in your place. And it says, the, the, gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe it. Does that mean anybody? Even a boy and girl in Africa? Maybe a boy and girl in China? 
maybe a boy or a girl across the street. God loves everyone and whosoever, whoever that person is, that believeth in him should not go to hell, but go to heaven. And we're going to learn about that. But that's what yellow stands for. So I hope you've got that down. Now, what was our next color for review? Yep, it was black. That's exactly right. And what did black stand for? Does anybody remember? Say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. All people are sinners. Very good. You guys are really getting this. Oh my goodness, it's great. And where is the verse found? Romans 6, 23. So I want you, as Miss Gill always does, turn over to Romans 6, chapter 6, and verse 23. And I want you to put your finger on that verse. And I want us to read it together. Are you ready? You might can do it from memory, but I want you to look it up in your Bible too so you know where it's found and you know how to use your Bible. Are you ready? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For the wages of sin is death. Do you know what, boys and girls? We've said this before, but you know what? I said there's one thing that's not allowed in heaven. And what is that? It's sin. And you know what, boys and girls? Jesus Christ said the wages, the payment for that is separation from God forever. He can't be in the presence of sin. And we are all sinners. We've all done wrong against God. We've lied. We've cheated. You maybe got mad at your brother. Maybe snuck a piece of candy when you weren't supposed to. Maybe took something out of your brother or your sister's room without telling them. But it's all sin and there's no sin allowed in heaven. So the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death or separation from God. But here's the good news. But the gift of God, that means Jesus Christ came. He gave you a gift. He came to die on the cross to pay for your sins. To pay for it completely, 100%. And that was a gift from God, especially for you boys and girls. But the gift of God is eternal life. That means you can go to heaven forever. That means you live forever and ever and ever and ever in heaven with Jesus. And it says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's only through Jesus. That's the only way we can do it. So black is all people are sinners. Now let's say the verse together without looking. Are you ready? Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's so amazing. And what's our next colors, boys and girls, that we talked about? Are you ready? That's right. It's red. I love red. I love the color red. And somebody tell me, do you remember what my favorite thing was that was red? A lifesaver. A red lifesaver. I love red candy. If I have any kind of candy and there's green and yellow and, and purple, I always pick the red. I love the red. So every time I see a red lifesaver, I think about Christ died for our sins. He died on a cross for us to pay for our sins. Boys and girls, the Bible says in Romans 5, 8, I want you to find it in your Bible. How important is it to find in your Bible? I'm flipping the pages right here. Okay, let's find it. Chapter 5, verse 8. But God commendeth his love toward us, and while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And the Bible says, but God commendeth his love toward us. He showed us his love because he was born in a little manger to come to die on a cruel cross to pay for your sins so that you could go to heaven one day. And that's what Jesus did. But God commendeth his love toward us. He showed us his great love. But God commendeth his love toward us and while we were yet sinners, we were sinners, and he still died for us. 
Christ died for us. And I want you to remember that. So every time, whatever your favorite red thing was, whether it's a red lollipop or a red fire engine, or maybe a red stoplight or stop sign, or maybe a red dress or a red bow tie, boys, I want you to think about Christ died for our sins. Pretty amazing. And that's Romans 5, 8. Now, the next color we went over last week, and I am my special friend with me. I had Lola with me. Do you remember what color it was? That's right. It is white. And what does the white stand for? Do you remember? That's right. Forgiveness. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9. Now, wait, we got to find it in our Bible first. Romans 10, 9. Are you ready? I've got it in my Bible. This is a longer verse. I hope you studied and I hope you took the challenge and you can say this from memory and explain the verse. That is going to be a great thing and I know you're working at it. So here we go. Romans chapter 10 and verse 9. Put your finger on verse 9. Are you ready? If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9. And that's the verse. Okay, are you ready? Let's try to say the verse without looking. So cover up verse 9 in your Bible. No peeking. Here we go. Romans 10, 9. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and shalt be, believe in thine heart, Christ hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Wait a minute. I don't think I got that right. I messed that up. Did you mess that up? Where did I mess up? Does anybody remember where I messed up? What do you think? Okay, this is where I messed up. I said, Lord Jesus Christ, and it's only Lord Jesus. And I put, believe in thine heart, Christ raised him from the dead. No, it's God raised him from the dead. Right? Look at your verse. That's what it says. Okay, let me try it again. Can I try it again? Okay. On the count of three, I'm going to try it again. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's say it together. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart, God raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved. Yeah, I got it right. Great. I've been working on it. So I want you to know every time you see something white, whether it's a white dress, whether it's a white flower, or you're putting on your white socks, or you have white tennis shoes, or you have a white little puppy dog like Lola, I want you to think about God forgives us when we admit it, we're a sinner done wrong against him, believe that he died on a cross and paid for our sins and God raised him from the dead and we ask him to save him and confess him with our mouth, guess what? Jesus will save us and when God sees us, he's not going to see us, boys and girls, full of sin. He's going to see us white as snow and that's how we get to heaven. The only way to get to heaven now after you've done that, I have one last color for you. You ready? The last color, and I bet you already know because you can see it, is green. Green. I love green. How many people like green plants and green grass? I love green. It's one of my favorite colors. And green, are you ready? This is what it stands for. Green is for go and grow. Can we say it together? Go and grow. So when you think about green, I want you to think about, you need, the Bible says you need to go and you need to grow as a Christian. Just like the grass is, just like the tree grows, just like plants grow, just like your little baby sister grows up. God says we need to grow and get to know him better and be able to know his word. And so let's look up Mark. 1615. Now that's a completely different book. Matthew, Mark. Second book of the New Testament. Let's turn over there 
And remember how important it is to use your Bible and go to chapter 16 and verse 15. Do you have your finger on the verse 15? I want to see it. Get your finger on there. Ooh, my nose itches. But here we go. Are you ready? Verse 15. And he said unto them, Jesus, he's talking about Jesus. And he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Wait a minute. Let's try that one more time. And he said unto them, go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That means every person. Whether you think they want to know about Jesus or not, whether they live across the world or next door, the Bible says for us to go into the world. That means go among people and for you to tell people the gospel. And you know what the Bible says? Now in this verse, look at this. It says, and he said unto them, he, who's he? Jesus said unto his disciples and to us, go ye therefore and give the good news of the gospel to every single person so that they can go to heaven one day because it's the only way to go to heaven. Do you know what, boys and girls? When I was 25, yeah, a little bit older than you, but when I was 25, I asked Jesus Christ to forgive me of my sins. I admitted I was a sinner. I believed that he died on a cross for me and he paid for my sins even though I didn't deserve it. And that God rose him from the dead. He is alive today. And you know what? I ask him, I confessed him with my mouth. I ask him to forgive me of my sins. I chose him. And you know what? Jesus did. And I became a Christian. It was the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. That was a long time ago. And I still love Jesus because I listen to him every day. I talk to him every day. And I did what he said to go and grow. And I'm telling you about the gospel. Am I doing this verse? The Bible says, and he said to them, go into all the world. Go into all the people of the world and give them the gospel. Well, that's what we're doing. You can do it just like I'm doing it. And I want you to take the gospel challenge. Now, I want you to work on that verse. I want you to post on Facebook, get your parents to do a video and put a post on there. And I want to see you do the different colors. Maybe you can only do one. Maybe you're only working on two. Maybe you haven't finished all the way through to green. But I want to see if you can do the gospel challenge. And remember, parents, do hashtag gospel challenge. I said a couple weeks ago, I usually do a bracelet. And it reminds me of the gospel colors. And you know what? This is a good way. You might have something at home. Girls, you might have beads. Boys, you might have some. And you could even do a keychain out of this. Or you might do this as a bracelet. But I want you to make something with the gospel colors as well. Because guess what, boys and girls? When you do that, I promise you, you know, I wore this bracelet and people go, where'd you get that bracelet? And I get a chance, oh, it's a special bracelet. I can tell you how you can know Jesus Christ and you can go through the colors with them and tell them what yellow represents and black and red and white and what green represents and ask them if they want to ask Jesus Christ into their heart. And if they want to admit they were a sinner, and if they believe Jesus Christ died for them and paid for their sins, then all they have to do is ask him, and he will save them. And guess what? They're going to be in heaven with you someday. It's so awesome. And one day, when we're all in heaven, they're going to say, thank you so much. I have eternal life because you cared enough about me to tell me. And boys and girls, we need to be doing that to our family and friends. And guess what? This is a time where I'm going to show you one of my favorite green things. You know what I really love to do? I love when it gets springtime and everything's green outside. And I like to take my shoes off and go barefooted and run around in the grass. And guess what? This is a lot of fun what I do. I love my green bubbles. And I take my green bubbles 
and I try not to make a mess and you do this outside but and I run as fast as I can and then I take my bubble thing out and try to go the biggest bubbles I possibly can and I just keep doing bubbles and it's so fun and you know what and then I run and try to tag them and bust them and, and all kinds of stuff and every time I see the green grass or I see my green bubble I think about it. I'm supposed to go and I'm going to supposed to grow. And boys and girls, the way you do that is by telling other people the gospel, by listening to God through his word, and by talking to God through prayer. And guess what? We've got our friend coming up. And what's his name? That's right, it's Rocky. And we're going to see what he has green today. And if he took the challenge, and if he can do that. Remember, post on Facebook, hashtag Gospel Challenge, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can have all kinds of adventurous things. And we've got all kinds of fun things, boys and girls, that you can do even throughout the week. But get busy for God, and he wants to use you in a special way. But right now, it's time for Rocky. Let's see, Rocky. What are you doing with the green? Well, boys and girls, I guess Rocky definitely remembered his color for today. Yes, I did. Uh-oh. He dropped my glasses. Well, I didn't drop your glasses. Look, somebody dropped my glasses. Well, I apologize for that. I'm sure it's my fault again. Yeah, but maybe they got to see my green glasses to go and grow for the Lord. Absolutely, go and grow for the Lord. Very good, Rocky. I'm so proud of you, even though you had your green glasses. Yes, I did. And, and what about uh, something else I was thinking about? Yeah, what is it? Well, there's a vegetable that I love to eat, and, and sometimes moms make their kids eat this particular vegetable. They don't always like it. Uh-oh, which one? Well, sometimes it could be broccoli. No, I don't like that. But I'm not even thinking about broccoli. wonder if anybody else can think about another green vegetable that grows, that we get to eat, and it reminds us to grow in the Lord. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is that I like that not very many people like to eat? No, I don't know. It is spinach. You're kidding. I love to eat spinach. I can't stand to eat spinach. Well, you should. It's very good for you, Rocky. In fact, it will put color in your cheeks. Yeah, well, who wants green cheeks, I ask you? Now, Rocky, don't be so silly. I'm just thinking of green things. You can look out in the world everywhere and see green things growing, but sometimes in your house. Maybe a green book you like to read, or maybe one of your favorite toys that's green. It reminds us to a special song that we like to sing. Do you remember what it is? Oh, yeah, oh, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day. That's right, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Very good. I didn't know you even knew that song. Yes, I do. I'll tell you what. Do you know the verse that goes along with the color green that we're supposed to be remembering? Yeah, the color of my glasses that's on the floor. Okay, yes, according to that. What is the verse? Can you say it? Did you be practicing? Have you been studying? I got it, I got it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and tell the boys and girls the verse that you've been studying. All right, I got it. It is, uh, uh, uh let me think. I thought you've been practicing. I have, I got it, I tell you. Okay, go ahead. What is that? What's the first word that starts with, uh, can you just give me the first word? Okay, the first word is go. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. Go, uh, go, go, go ye. Go ye. Yes, go ye, uh, uh, go ye. Go, what's the next word? Go ye in two. Yeah, go ye in two. The kitchen, not Rocky, go ye into the world. Oh, yeah, go ye into the world, into all the world. That's right, you're getting it. Go ye into all the world and, uh, and preach, and preach the God, the gospel, yeah, uh, to Every 
I had it. Didn't you hear me say it? I had to help you say it. Well, I was just testing you to see if you knew what it was. Okay. We're going to do this again and see if you can say it all by yourself. I got it. All right, go for it. Let's see if he can really say it by himself without my help. Are you going to say it? I'm thinking. Go, hurry up. Okay, okay. Uh, go ye into all the world and uh, uh, preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, 15. Well, you did it. You did it. I'm very proud of you. And now you can tell this to anybody that asks you why you're wearing green on your bracelet or why you're talking about something green, you can share how that God, once we know him as our Savior and read the Bible and pray, will grow in the Lord every day. Yeah, read your Bible, pray every day, right? Pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, Girl. All right. Say goodbye, everybody. See you later, boys and girls. Take care. Have a good day. All right. Get you in your little trunk.